Hi, this is the Hutchinson Art Center online art camp. My name is Hannah Beam and I'll be your instructor. Today we're going to talk about when do people make art? People make art all the time. Remember, art is a creative, expressive activity. So anytime someone is being creative or expressive, they're making art. Sometimes artists who are professionals make art when they go to work because their job is to make art. Other times people make it in their free time and sometimes they do it at school because they're learning more about it. A lot of times people will make art when they see, think, or feel something new or different. Sometimes they make art to investigate or learn something new. And that's what we're gonna focus on today. Today we're gonna look at three different materials. Oil pastels, crayons, and colored pencils. These materials have a lot of qualities in common with each other, but they're also really different. So the art we make today is gonna be more about investigating and learning. It's gonna be more about the process. Art doesn't always have to be really pretty. Sometimes art is messy and fun. So today we're gonna to be focusing on exploring something new instead of focusing on making something really pretty. But it can come out kind of pretty anyway. I kind of like how these pages came out. So over here, I have colored pencils, oil pastels, and crayons. I experimented with coloring hard and coloring soft and experimented with scribbling and drawing and how they make different kinds of lines. I also experimented with that on black paper. I have colored pencils, oil pastels, and crayons and got some pretty interesting results with that. I tested how well they blend together with crayons, oil pastels, and colored pencils. And I also practiced to see how they layer with each other. So for example, I started with colored pencil here, then I used oil pastels, and then I did crayons on top of all of that. Each one of these has a different order that I used with those materials to try to see which combination would work the best if I wanted to use all of these materials together. I personally like how colored pencils, then crayons, then oil pastels came out with this one. But overall, I think the page still has a really interesting look to it. So you can make something that looks really cool and interesting just by trying to investigate and learn. So I'm going to kind of show you these materials and talk about their qualities a little bit. And then you can do some investigating on your own with these materials or if you have different art materials that you want to test out to find their similarities and differences, you can test that out too. Move these up a little bit here. So with all of mine, I started out by folding my paper in thirds since I'm testing out three different materials. So I just kind of gently wrap it together until it's about even. So I'll try to pull that up so you can see it's just kind of wrapped and then just press it down and that'll give you three roughly even areas that you can do your experimenting in if you want to do them all on one paper. You could also just use three different papers to do this also. So I have my three sections. I'm going to use a colored pencil to outline them so you can see them really well. And I'll start exploring some things with these materials. I'll start with colored pencils over here. Colored pencil. I'll label these ones so you can see which is which. So there's colored pencil. I have oil pastel. And let's see, do I have a black crayon? I think this one might be black. Yep, there we go. Crayon. So even by labeling the page, you can see some pretty big differences and similarities between these media. Oil pastel and crayon both kind of have an interesting texture when you draw or write with them, whereas colored pencils are pretty smooth and thin, at least when they're nice and sharp. If your pe colored pencil is dull, it might look more like one of these two and give you a thicker, more textured line. So let's see. 
I'm going to start with some red. It's kind of, I guess it's more of a pink. Pinky red color. And I'm going to start by coloring soft. So I'm just really lightly adding some color here. Then I'm going to do a section where I color hard. So I'm pushing down a lot more to get my color. And I might even, you could even do a second layer on part of this to see how well it works layering on top of itself. I'll do that on the soft side too. So coloring soft. Coloring hard. Maybe you could even draw a shape and see how it is to fill in that shape with coloring. I kind of did medium pressure on that one. Let's try something similar with oil pastels. I'm going to try to use a similar color because I want to see how colors are different between each of them too. So this is kind of a pinky red color also. So I'll color soft on this one, barely any pressure, and it's a lot darker than the colored pencil. And I'll color harder with more pressure. And it definitely gets me a more solid look. And it is still darker than this one, but both are darker than this one. And that's really what we're looking for. How are these similar and how are they different? Let's use a crayon now. Color soft. Color hard. Maybe try some layering. And what happens when we draw a picture? So before, oil pastel and crayon seemed more similar to each other as far as drawing and the line that they come out. But when I color, I feel like the crayon looks more like the colored pencil. So there's a lot of similarities and differences that we can find between these three media. And that's what you can explore in lots of different ways with this project. You could see how it works to layer colors on top of each other. So with the crayons, I'm going to layer some green with some turquoise, turquoise blue. And I'm going to work back and forth with these to see if they really blend well together, or if they kind of mix, or how it works. Okay, we'll try that with oil pastels. Get kind of a light green here. back and forth again. These ones I'm noticing mix better together than the crayons did. They blend more. But they also have a lot of texture. Interesting. And now the colored pencils. much of a turquoise, so we'll use more of a blue. These 
ones actually blend pretty nicely together too. They have a nice blend where the color is mixing together nicely and smooth. So now colored pencil and oil pastel have this more in common where they blend together a little bit better. Whereas the crayons just kind of layered on top of each other and didn't really actually mix together very well. So you can keep going and try more things to experiment with these colors. You can try layering them together. You just start with each, if you do, if you practice with layering the three materials, you'll have two that start the same every time. So I have two that start with colored pencil, two that start with oil pastel, and two that start with crayon. And then you just swap out the order of the next two. So then I did oil pastel and crayons, or crayons and oil pastels. And you can get a whole wide variety of ways that you can layer these together. You could do the same thing and practice how they layer with different colors. Does it work better to use green first or blue first? You could see how well the colors blend together in this way too, where you do like a whole rainbow of colors instead of just two colors on top of each other. But essentially this practice and this practice are kind of the same, just with a more limited palette or a more expanded palette. You could also see how these materials work on different colored paper. Would it be different if this was on blue or green or red paper? You could try something like that too. This page is pretty similar to what we were practicing here. But I did more with lines and coloring hard and soft. And I used more colors too to see what, how the colors were similar and different. So you could test all the colors and see how all the colors compare to each other too. As long as you're practicing and investigating these materials, you'll be making art and learning more, and maybe it'll even give you an idea for a future project. So, remember, artists make things when they see, think, or feel something new, different, or important, but they also make art to learn and investigate. So, I hope you have fun creating today.